Hello and welcome to another episode of Miners of the Nexus. Hello. Hello. Here we are in the location of our docks. As you can see, part of it has already been built. This is a big hole. <laughs> this is where uh, Dengonzo and Tapion are going to be building our dry docks. Um, yeah, pretty much it's going to um, consist of some red, red wiring, redstone wiring. And when you press a switch over there in that house, that's also half built, um, the water will start flowing in uh, and the boats can come in and be fixed in the dry dock. Uh, me and Rastrol are oh. going to be, hello, are going to be over here finishing off the, the docks, what's left of it. We thought we'd build most of it because, as you can see, it's nothing spectacular. Which takes me to my next point. <coughs> um, the the whole game mode one, game mode zero, um, thingamajig that we keep going on about. We finally come to a decision. Thanks for all of you for replying on the last video. Um, we got plenty of varied responses. Some of you don't really like game mode game mode zero very much. Uh, mainly because it's slow and annoying to watch. Uh, we have to also gather all the materials, which takes us double the time to get everything. I can show you, we actually started gathering materials for this build. Uh, and here's Dengonzo's stash, where we started collecting stuff. We got quite a few materials. We planted loads of trees and I, oops, sorry. And uh, I collected some stone bricks for the dock and stuff. But we realized that it would just take too much of our time. Um... But what I think personally people like about our legit builds, our old builds uh, with game mode, game mode uh, zero, is the actual informative nature of it. Know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, by the way, we've been snowed in. Winter is coming. Winter's here already. Winter is here. So <laughs> half of our town has been covered in snow for no apparent reason. It never used to snow here. So anyway, yeah, what I was saying, the our legit builds were informative, I guess, and we gave you some tips towards building. Um, I know lots of you, lots of you guys like playing in servers, and in servers you can't build with game mode one. And we understand that it's interesting to learn a few tips to, of how to build. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give little tips and and stuff on how to do stuff in game mode game mode one how to do stuff in game mode zero and i think it'll it'll be best of both worlds for both of you both of you know both, both of you both of you <laughs> both of you cans of people <laughs> the both the the two the two people that actually watch our videos i think <laughs> you two you two will you know keep it we'll up benefit good stuff no, I mean two types of Paul people. And, Paul and Peter. Paul and Peter. Paul and Peter will definitely benefit from this. <laughs> so yeah, you'll see how it goes. So now time for a little pro tip. This is a pro tip for when you're building in game mode zero. In other words, create um, normal mode. And we're gonna build the rest of this dock here. We want the wall to continue all the way down to the floor. So the way to do that, make sure you've got enough of the block to build some torches and a pick in case you cockle up big time. So just jump down to the very bottom of the water. It's very hard to see actually, but do what you can and, it, and squids might get in your way, which is kind of annoying. But you see the squid is in my way. And you start building by f swimming up like this. When you realize that your, your breath is running out, have a torch handy and place it on the wall right in front of you. You see, that gives you your bubbles back. That was actually a tip sent to us by the Kev6969, one of our first subscribers. Thanks for that. It's taken a while to to relay that tip, but thanks. So you just f swim alongside like that. I'll tell you why you swim alongside. Because if you swim on top of the block as you're building outside the water, you kind of, well, apart from annoying squids, it kind of slows you down like this, you see? I don't know why, but that happens. So, always swim upwards like this, alongside. Also, I build, I tend to build one layer under the water. So, if this is the water layer over here, this is the water layer, I build like this, one layer 
below the water this is because then once you've done the whole the entirety of the wall that way you can jump on on this block here and then you can build like normal like you would our old tip that we said building up like this two up um also another the the look we've given the wall is um you know broken stone mossy stone just to make it look worn and and hit by the tides and the mossy stone to make it you know make it seem as if it's been in the water the top block is um cobble and the the rest of it is um stone brick also another tip i would i would say here for this if you want to make it look random when you're building game mode one it's all very easy because you just go swapping through the blocks but it's slow in game mode zero so this is what i would do if you just stop pr pressing the blocks and jumping across like this and just randomly laying them down wherever you can like this see you've got one block selected you've got the mossy so you just go placing it randomly like this once you're all the way around you swap to a normal stone you know go missing a few blocks out and then finally you, you swap to the broken stone and that way you're assured to get a different you see a different uh, more natural looking effect on the stones so yeah i think that's about it that covers it all so now we're going to carry on building finish off this wall in game mode one just because it's easier and hope you that tip helps you guys in your future builds so uh, me and then gonzo are building uh, the dry docks as Bardock said before um we're basing this dry docks on uh, some dry docks that we have here in our hometown so it's basically quite similar um, anyway concept of a dry dock is kind of similar anywhere and so now then guns is gonna tell you guys what we've been doing yeah basically you see we it, it, it's like a step from from the bottom upwards on both sides we've already built one side and uh, we're gonna start building the other one um, this we're going to have some uh, some red wiring with uh, with pistons which will allow the the dogs to flood not really because water doesn't work like that in minecraft but it'll give the impression so bef and we've already laid some of the redstone you see down here which is going up to our pump uh, pump room up there and um, but before we continue we want to block the the entrance to the dog with our door we're going to start building our door with wood uh, to avoid having now redstone uh, destroyed, so um, tapping we're gonna help me with that. We're start, gonna start uh, filling up the the docks. Let's do this. I'd also like to mention the the funny thing that uh, <laughs> we got we kept we keep getting comments asking us if if we're like from Sweden or some people say you sound just like Notch. I don't know for. Well, yeah, and one guy in particular that made me laugh last week said, "You German, f you." <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's so, funny because because it was, well, I don't, I don't know, know what he has against Germans, but uh, firstly, I don't know what he has against Germans, and secondly, that it was criticizing us for being German because it's sounding German, and then his English wasn't particularly that great either. So it just I found it really funny. I don't Plus, know why. we are not we are not German anyway. We're so. not German. We're definitely not German. I mean, I can understand people thinking we might sound Swedish. I don't know why, but wait, they told me once not German. They told me I sound I sound so South African once. So. South Af yeah. It's funny that nobody has told us we sound Spanish yet because that really our accent comes from the fact that we can speak English and Spanish and we are very close to Spain. So yeah, but <laughs> no, yeah, geographically close. Geographically. Not well, I mean, wise. all three of us have slightly different accents as well, so it could be. Well, I spent three years in the UK, lived with an American, so I got a bit of those accents. And the Beyond spent, what, how many years? Two years in Australia, living with Americans. <laughs> Two, so yeah. And I spent all my life in Jib, represent. So yeah, we're from Gibraltar. If you check our, our channel comments, that's where we're from. So people, please stop asking if we're not, or if we if we're from Sweden, or I wish we stop were telling us to f you. Yeah, I wish I was not. I don't wish I was not. Well, I wish I had this bank account. 
<laughs> At least that. And his epic hat. Well. Well, why doesn't he? What he should do with all that money is repair the redstone glitch, which is driving me crazy. <laughs> it's not him in charge anymore. Uh, you're gonna have to ask Jeb for that. Well, Jeb, please repair the this, the redstone. Yeah, glitch. redstone. Um, so sorry, you, what are you gonna say? So here you can see we've already uh, uh, blocked out the water, uh, and we'll continue building from there. Just just to give us the the height of our doors. And uh, we'll continue with that. And we're going to start building on the other side. Everything will be uh, hollow inside so that we can build our, we can do our redstone wiring. You also notice that at the bottom, which is, uh, we've put some wood, which is really what, what is used on, um, on real docks, so that the keel of the ships will lay on that and not get damaged. Interesting stuff. Not only we get do more we... education as the days go on. Yeah. Sorry? Not, only, not only do we get pro tips, we also get educational tips. Educational real stuff. Which brings me to my next pro tip. Um, seeing as this whole mess that has been done here with the water when we, we built the wall. This probably most people know. So well, what I you do... Well, doesn't seem to know. No, yeah, that's what <laughs> well, I was thinking. I, I, I took it off so you could explain it. Well... Basically, you have to place a block underneath the water block. So, instead of using on this block here, you would do it the block below, below that. Like that. But, when it's a big area that's flooded like this, you need to cover the whole area. So, keep on placing blocks like this. You see? Until you start fixing the problem. You see? How it slowly goes fixing. Yep. If you're using game mode, uh, a normal mode here, you would use dirt or something quick to destroy but as you can use anything in the game as well. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I was I went to Japan once, that's why I have a Japanese accent. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, okay, yeah. so we finished this part now, this is the sort of docking area done. We're gonna build a few ships here. Ships? Ships. Chips ships ahoy. A few ships. ships here. Or boats or whatever. With masts and all that. But that's that'll be another video. So I think we're gonna do this little lighthouse here, aren't we? Yeah. Alright, I'll do the cobble. I'll do the mossy. Okay. How high up are we gonna do this? As high as a lighthouse would be. Well it's more of a beacon than a lighthouse. A big if, big ass beacon. Don't you think it look it would look better with stone brick? Everything looks better with stone brick. Exactly. That's your favorite material, stone brick. Well, I think it's you have the. He has the franchise for stone brick in Minecraft, I think. Yeah, because he's he's a troll, and stone brick is trollish stone. Stollish stone. Yeah. Stollish. See, that's the Japanese accent coming in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I didn't say it, it was him. No, but, but leave the base made out of cobble. Okay. So, <laughs> um, yeah, we built our entire troll village out of most of it, anyway, of trollish stone. Drollish. What was it called? <laughs> Drollish stone? Strollish stone. Strollish stone. Yeah, so we built most of that out of Strollish oh, Throne. Throne. And, Stroll and Stroll by the way, by the way, thanks uh, all you guys for the encouraging uh, posts for my first attempt of a um, flyby. Yeah, that's a word I was looking for. Yeah, and thanks for all the encouraging words for his uh, master and the guy that does the editing for all the other videos. That's quite yeah, cool. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> And thanks for the comments uh, regarding the actual build, which was built by... All of us. Rastral. <laughs> all of us. And myself. I helped. Uh, yes, I pitched him. Uh, uh, that's right, yeah. I didn't do anything. I just recorded. <laughs> that's my part. You, you took all the credit. I, I was actually... It was actually quite fun. I mean, it's... Being able to build without having to record gives you a lot more freedom in certain things and you can take your time and it was quite a fun f side project that we had so if you guys enjoyed it i mean seeing that sort of thing without the actual building tutorials just uh, flybys of towns and stuff we've done you know let us know what sort of thing you'd like to see
we can do those as well. And we've had a, an interesting comment, the one we'll have to ponder on. The one about asking us if we could incorporate, or not asking us, uh, telling us, not telling us. Ordering, but, you know, ordering us. Not ordering. Suggesting. suggesting you do it, you one. do it, and you like Requesting. it. Requesting. That's the one. Suggesting that we could maybe incorporate other people's towns like builds in our obviously if people want that towns and stuff and make the world much bigger m much more diverse and have a sort of more direct input from our viewers so i don't know we could we sort of did that with the, the with the village having people get send us houses and stuff and i'm sure we could we could go that route as well to have um like instead of houses actual villages uh, actual villages yeah i'm sure we could go that route i mean so if you want your village to be incorporated into a map before release let us know show us your villages and we might do it might just do it i personally like the one we we explored the other day yeah the computers one yep that, w that one would look cool yeah that looks okay how does it look from there guys I think it looks fine. Yeah, mm. it looks fine. Yeah, looks okay. Yeah, this tower reminds me a bit of a creeper. I'll leave you with that. You see? Check <laughs> it out. And this one reminds me of a Mexican. <laughs> with a poncho. That is another stereotype. Mexicans don't really wear ponchos. No, no a Mexican with a poncho. I mean, it could be a an, an Englishman wearing a Mexican hat and a poncho. So what makes okay. it a Mexican then? Yeah. You know the gl the the glimmer in the eye over here. Oh, <laughs> that's clearly a Mexican. That definitely <laughs> looks like a Mexican eye. There, that's a typical yeah. Mexican glimmer right there. Yeah. Well, we have the dock nearly finished now. The dry dock, and we're gonna show you around. Follow me. We'll do. See, so. we have we built up a a metal fence here to protect uh, the docks. Make sure nobody falls in. We have an entrance here. So to protect the docks or the people? Uh, both, really. It's a security fence. That's why it's metallic, so they don't... Is it, is it electric? Can I touch it? Um, I, wouldn't, I, would, I haven't electrified it yet, but it might be in the future. Okay. Don't touch it in any case. Yes, sir. So we come down here. I've lost you. Oh, there you are. Uh, just a shot of the, of the finished thing with the doors at the end. You see? Now we're going to... This is a, you can see this is a winch which will be used to pull in the, pull in the, the actual uh, bolts when, when the dock is flooded. Uh -huh. So that would be tied up to this winch here. Okay. And they would, they would, this winch will be controlled from the winch and pump house over there, you see at the, at the end. Well, we're going to go there now. Okay, so this basically will turn around, turn a rope and bring, and the, do and bring the, the boat in, right? Ex exact amount. Okay, cool. So this is uh, we still got to finish this part, which is the part of the docks or the the actual yard, the, dock, the dry dock yard, which will be fenced in with with uh, with metal as well. All this all this perimeter we've done part here as well, something similar to here. Mm -hmm. okay. And here we got some steps going up, which I haven't been finished yet, just because I want you to see down here. There's some the red wiring here, redstone wiring. We're going to look yeah. at the guts now, right? We've got the sun red wiring with the torch up there. The torch is to, to inverse the actual, the actual current, so that we want the, the flooding to start. Come, if you come up here now. Yep, just showing all the gut, gutty areas. We'll go down now. All right, coming up. This is, going to, this is the pump house, you see there? The pump house and, and switch room control. Yep. Uh, here we've got the switch. If you look out there, when I when I hit the switch. Yep. Let me go out. Whoa, whoa. Okay. So it's kind of spilling. Yeah. On the and side. Now it's stopped. Okay. Do that again. Yep. Okay. That is just one one of the eight or seven valves that we're gonna have. You come down here now. This is this is the actual entrance to the. I'm gonna put the door here. Yep. Have a door there. Yeah. Okay. So we come down here. Watch your step. We don't want you falling there and killing yourself. 
These are the actual. This is one the one that you've seen that you've seen already. Seen in action. Yeah, yeah you can see the water dripping here. Yeah, well, that's just. Uh, I'm going to build this one now. We're okay. going to have a. Uh, Show us, oh master. A piston there. You see the, the the block is already in position. So if I power it. Whoa. And I remove it. Whoa. I've already made the hole for that. Now we need to build around it to to make a. You just rock, well. You just rocked my world with that, just saying. So now we've made a, uh, a place to put our water inside. If we go if we go round the other side and we go outside now. Yep. Yeah. Up these steps here. And down. You see the hole that we've made already. If we get some water here. And we flood this. We've Whoa. got us. We've got a second. Thing. Now I'm going to to replace that that red torch there, that red uh, dust. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And if you like to do the honors, you can hit the switch at the top and watch it flood again with the second one. All right. Can I do it now? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So. Have you seen like like you saw before we've got this one here just finishing off here now come back down here wait I'm gonna show it again nice all right what now we're gonna have another one here and another one at the end here okay and then we'll just leave that for now and then we go right under the our nice construction here right under here and up the other way follow me yeah yep. and we've got the our other positions here when we wire all this up yeah I'm gonna get torch here once we wire all this up we'll find uh, we can flood the whole thing maybe we can fin we can show you uh, a later finished product a finished product later. Okay. Copy. We're gonna have two here as well on the entrance to the on the wall on the um, doors. We're gonna have two two valves here on the doors as well. Yep. Well, here we're gonna make a winch tower. So winch. the boats a winch, not a winch, a winch tower. That sounds interesting. And. Well, in the picture I have, in the drawing I have, I, I'll post post it here, you see, this this sort of look. This is the look we're going for. Obviously, in Minecraft, it's not as easy. Um, by the way, thanks to Dave davesgames.net, where I got inspiration from. But, as you can see, uh, the different sections look slightly bigger, or, you know, they look separated. And when it's all done in wood like this, it doesn't really look that good so again i've used uh, trapdoors to differentiate from the different layers so if you do this when using wood and especially in our texture pack because i've just made the trapdoors look solid they don't have the holes in them so if you place trapdoors like this you know it just pops out that extra bit more that makes it look you know more solid the the crane looks more solid looks more different each section of it looks different okay so this final layer here is going to contain uh, this little like box sticking out box here um, just one block difference because obviously in Minecraft you can't really make it any bigger or it will, or it will look ridiculous so just one block bigger like that actually I can remove these two here to make it slightly bigger inside and this is where the winch is going to be housed, where the, where the crane is going to be housed. You see? And I'm going to use, obviously, some fences. Also, I'm going to add some fences. Oops, I got a little lag spike there. Slag spike. Slag spike. 
What is it with mixing up the words today? It's like... What? <laughs> also add those fences down, down there to make it look like it's the support. And I'm going to actually use um, nether brick. Nether brick uh, fences to make the, the hook or the crane. Just so it looks different. I would really like it if it didn't rain. <laughs> yeah. I would really like, like it if, the rain. if you could actually um, have these sort of fences made from the other materials. So we could use uh, iron and stuff to make it look like iron fences and stuff. That would, yeah, that would be yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah. That would be nice. Yeah, yeah. So, like that. It would be really cool if you could actually operate this machine. That would be cool. Yeah. So there we have the top floor of the crane. Okay, so the last step of this uh, crane house is going to be the roof. So I'm going to use these brick stones. Wait, that's not right there. Hold on. Yeah, there. So... Yeah, it's just going to be a slanted roof, uh, covered in stone, um, so covered in what? what? <laughs> um, framed in wood, I mean, sorry. So a slanted roof like this. And that is it. That's that simple. Action. Hi, we are uh, now a detached mold. It's, it's attached from the rest of the molds. That's what we call it, a detached mold. Uh, you get bigger shapes and things here. We built a couple of light beacons here on this on this mall. You see, you see the finished product here on this side. Um, but you see the beacon is not flashing, which is what we want to have. But that's because every time we do a time change, there's a there's a glitch in multiplayer that uh, touches stone uh, red touches uh, just uh, burn out. So if I replace this one, it keeps it keeps burning out. Do you um, want me? Do you want me to do a quick server restart so we can we show you? Uh, yeah, you see, every time that I replace it, that's another pro tip. As it were. Another pro tip. <laughs> every time you replace it, it keeps blowing, it keeps fusing. Yeah. If you do a out. restart, if you're playing in uh, in game mode in single, you can restart the game much easier. If you're on a server, you have to restart the server because at, for some reason it it memorizes the block that it was before and it break and it keeps breaking. You do a restart now. Okay, so I'll do a, a server restart. Hold on a second. So now we, we now had uh, made a uh, restart, had a restart, and we're going to try and see if this works now. You see? Yeah, it flashes. And there it is. It and the flashes. beacon is flashing, yeah. By adding, by adding, you will get, you see, uh, if, you, if you put a redstone in this uh, configuration, it will flash on and off the same as the as the time, as the, as the clock here. So we're going to do the other one, the other side. You see, here, I've done it slightly different. It's, it's all the same, but if you want to get more time, you can, ha you can space it out a bit more and have another, another um, timer here, another delay. Basically, what you do is, every time you put one on top of the other, we're going to go out of here. I'd, li I'd just like to say that um, Don Gonzo is uh, officially the electrician of the Nexus now, <laughs> because redstone wiring just phases me. It's so complicated. I mean, I've become a master of Dumbledore mechanics, just based on on the fact that I've done so many of them. But that's double double door mechanics for those people that aren't with us every week. Um, so yeah, carry on, carry on explaining. So if you if you look if you just look down there you can get a shot of the of the of the torch down there yeah every time that goes on this one goes off and, and vice versa if you want to get it higher like we've got on the other side obviously you can put a block directly on top of the fl of the torch and then another another torch on top and still you know and you see you see how it uh, it works. This is also useful if you want to get uh, an electrical current from the bottom to to the top of a building. You can always use that, and then just put one off center. I'll explain that in another video. Oh, that's quite interesting, actually. So you have to put so you, a space. You, you can uh, go. 
a torch and then a block, right? Yeah, a, a torch and a block, and you can go for ages. You can go as as far up as you like. Do you want to explain exactly how this mechanism is working? This one. Yeah. This is a, a, what they call a one clock. Basically, it fits it fits on itself. Once you once you put the the torch there, you get a signal to this to this side, and it would get, if you remove that from there, you would just it will stay on all the time, feeding right. that, that torch, but that torch would be off because this one is on, like like in the towers that I showed you before. This mm -hmm. one is on, that one is off, the one be, uh, above it would be on, yep. and it, would, it wouldn't be flashy. So this ta this actually what this does is that it makes it, it makes it like a, a flashing unit. So one clock. When you put a bit of redstone mm -hmm. here, it fits on itself. So it switches on, fits right. on itself, back, back and forth you see it goes round in a circle here so the trick is this Signal little bit here thing. this bit here makes yeah. it loop then so if you want that's to replicate right. this just there you go the, just the, a, that, that, that is the that's the clock yeah. that little this you, little section here is a clock yeah so yeah i think we're pretty much done we just need to finish off this pump room which is where the switch is to connect um you know they showed that before um and we're pretty much done and the winch and the huge winch we've got to finish here as well oh yeah and there's going to be a huge winch here that that's going to be in a similar island as that and next week or the following we're going to be working on this this final part of the dock which is going to be the um, storerooms we're still discussing exactly how that's going to look we've already been testing some things out um but yeah that's the docks done Hope you enjoyed that. Hope let us know what you think of the new style, you know, the new game mode one, game mode zero tutorial esque episode that we did. What do you think of that? Give us your comments. Uh, subscribe if you liked us, and yeah, just keep on the support coming. Thanks very much. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye.